Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Crip Sports video. The other day, I asked you guys in my community tab what videos you wanted to see more, and you guys answered wiffle ball. So, here's some wiffle ball. Now I do have a league that I run out here and there's a lot of people that play games but I'm trying to stack up some of those videos before I start posting them because I don't want to post two games and then you know we don't play for three weeks and then you guys are just kind of stuck wondering where the games are at. So in the meantime I figured I would make this video where I'd come out here and I would just throw every single wiffle ball pitch that I know how to throw and that I throw during the games that we play out here. I'll do my best at teaching you guys how I throw them and then you guys can just gasp in amazement or make fun of me, either one. You're probably gonna do both. So in the league that I run out here, we use normal six hole wiffle balls, but we tape them completely in athletic tape. This makes the balls fly so much further than a standard wiffle ball. And honestly, it's just more fun this way. You can throw these balls a lot harder and it's a little closer to the realism of actual baseball. The mound is 40 feet away from home plate. And today I'm gonna be throwing two different types of balls just so you guys can see some of the rotation. This is the standard ball that we play with. It is wrapped once completely in athletic tape. And then this is the same ball, except I put a red stripe down it so you guys can see the rotation of the ball yeah here we go with the four seam I really just try to get my arm up as much as possible and really get over top of the ball and I really make sure I snap my wrist whenever I throw it because sometimes it might get you just a little bit of a rise but you don't want it moving left and right too much this is a control pitch you really want to throw this where you want to throw it On the two seam, I do what every coach in my life has ever told me not to do. I drop my arm down, I angle my wrist a little bit more. Again, I snap my wrist whenever I throw it. Really get it to rotate off of my fingers to try to dive in a little bit on the batter or away from a lefty. On the cutter, I kind of go three quarter and I really just hold my fingers together like that and I just get on top of the ball, try to let it roll off of my middle finger. It takes like three or four mile an hour off the ball, but it moves just a little bit. I really try to throw this in on people's hands and get them to saw off the bat. Obviously you can't break a wiffle ball bat. That'd be really cool if I did that one day. With the slider, I'm in the exact same arm slot, exact same way I hold the ball, except I really try to pull my arm down and I tuck this ball into my hand as much as possible. And sometimes I'll even give it a little bit of a wrist flick. That's bad for your elbow, but sometimes, you know, it, it's wiffle ball. The whole thing's bad for your elbow. Now we have the curveball and I throw more of like a 12-7, 12-8 curveball. I try to start it at people's heads or right above their head and drop it down into the bottom of the zone. I hold it just like a slider except to kind of cock my wrist up a little bit more and really try to get on the ball and snap it down. Keep my arm speed the exact same as every single pitch. Fastball, curveball, slider, cutter, you always want your arm to be the exact same speed when you throw the ball.
All right, up next is a sinker. I don't really throw this one that much because I don't have it dialed in, but essentially it does what my two seam does, except it drops a little bit more. It's about the same speed. So if I throw them back to back, it could really mess somebody up, but it's essentially the three quarter arm slot, except I turn my wrist like that. And when I throw it, I really try to flick my wrist over that way to get it to dive down. Up next, we have my favorite pitch that I used to throw in college whenever I pitched baseball in college, the split finger. I essentially just tuck the ball as deep as I can get it between my middle finger and my ring finger, brace the side of it with my other two fingers, and then brace the bottom of it with my thumb. And when I throw it, I gotta make sure I keep my hand vertical like that, and just kinda let the ball slide out of my fingers. It should drop really drastically and dive in, kinda like a really hard changeup. And now we move to some of my favorites. If somebody's giving me a really hard time, they've battled off seven or eight pitches in a row. I love to go submarine. And if I'm feeling really fancy, I'll drop it down with a deuce. And then we got the classic pitch that everybody wants to learn, the knuckleball. Stick around for the stripe ball because you can't see rotation on this anyway. The stripes are really gonna show you what this thing does. With the knuckleball, I use all four of my knuckles and I essentially just try to push the ball out of my hand, keep my hand straight up. And then my all-time favorite, the Japanese Ephus. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you liked all of the pitches that I can throw. I threw a lot of pitches for this video. Most of them didn't make it because I kept screwing up. I'm gonna put how many pitches I threw total in this video. That's how many likes I want. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please subscribe if you're interested in watching some of this stuff. Click that bell notification so you guys don't miss any videos. And let me know what video you guys want next. Oh, I need a Gatorade.